Hi Alejandra, good evening. Hi teacher. How are you? Today? I'm really fine. What about you? Feeling better. Thank you for asking. Okay, that's good. How was your day? Tell me. Was really uh, bored because I spent all the all my day mm -hmm. my bell and writing some of poetry or something like that. Oh, okay. Well, what yeah. do you like to read? What do you like to read? Poetry? Are you reading? Are you currently reading books? Yes, I love to read uh, books about love or something like that. Okay, okay, super. Remind me, I can share a couple like um, The Fault in Our Stars, like for movies. I do have a couple of books in English, like Rich um, Dad, Poor, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, I think. Yeah. yeah. I have the versions in English. I have a couple of books that I can share with you. I have them in PDF in case you're interested. Really? So read them. Mm -hmm. okay. Just remind me if you, if you want. Okay. If you want, share with me that book. Mm -hmm. And I will read it. Super. Yes, of course. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And are you currently studying at the university? Are you currently studying or working? No. Tell me. Mm -hmm. No, yet. Sometimes I work and only I study with, with you. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm happy then. Okay. Thank you. Flor, good evening. How are you? Good evening. I am fine. And you? Good. How is the weather there? How is the weather? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, super. And then Alejandro, right? I have Alejandro, if I'm not mistaken, right? Asus? Yeah, uh, Hello, people. I can listen to you better now. What happened? It's a nice day and the celebration with my family in my home. Uh -huh. <laughs> and okay. we're two in my home. Too. Ah, okay. I'm happy. By the way, congratulations to you, to your father, to all your relatives who are parents, okay? To your best friends, to that mom and dad also, if there has been a mom and dad uh, that have played the both roles at the same time. So congratulations also for, for those moms who have been dads too, okay? So if there's somebody in your community or if you have a relative who's a father too, congrats, okay? Yes, thank you, teacher, so much. Okay, I'm happy that you're celebrating. Samuel, good evening, how are you? Hi. Hi, good evening, how are you? How was your day? It was very, very good because I I stay in, in my house and I stay uh, connected to, to my clients. Ah, okay. The remote, the remote. Okay, super. So, so very busy. Uh -huh, you had a busy day. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, super. Thank you, someone, for sharing. Well, guys, today we're going to be talking about, try to guess, what's our topic for today? Something related to superstitions. Maybe. What do you guys think? What's our topic for today? What do you have on your screen? We're talking about conditionals with if today, okay? So that's in 4.10. So um, do you guys have an idea of how to use a, con what is a conditional, how to use a conditional? Do you happen to know what a conditional is? More or less? Okay, so this is a small induction because I have, do have a presentation and a couple of exercises that we're going to be doing. So let's pay attention to what conditionals are, okay? Let me know if you listen to the audio. Present. If you get a high... We're about to... Can you listen to the audio? Yes. Okay, yes, so yes. 
study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. So what are conditionals based on the first example that we just saw? It's this plus this. What is it? Can you guys tell me? Mm -hmm. What are conditionals? In the if, the conditional is the possibility. Mm -hmm. It's a possible situation or a possibility plus a possible solution or the consequence of that possible situation, right? Right. Okay. The first conditional is a structured use for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. If I study, I will get good grades. If I study, I will, uh, my parents will feel proud of me. If I study, so there's a possible solution and a possible answer to that possible situation or um, that has, you know, having a solution. So if it's, we have three conditionals in English. The first conditional is this one, the one that we're gonna be looking at. Then we have two others that we're not gonna go over today in this session, okay? But this is the first conditional with if, in the present and towards the future with the solution. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English. I want to stop there because I want to explain something briefly. Do you guys know, and I think I have mentioned this before, do you guys know what is the difference between will and going to? Do you guys know the difference between will and going to? What's the difference between will and going to, guys? Will, yeah. will, I remember is will is a possibility. Is not, is you will not sure about the, you do it something. And going to is you sure to. You are sure. You, you are. Very good. Sure. Mm -hmm. You are doing the things that you want to do. Very good, super, thank you. Will is actually 50-50. So in this case, because we have an if situation, which is a possibility, we're not sure, so we're doubting. So all the time we're gonna be using um, will because we're gonna be doubting. We're not gonna be using going to because going to, it's like 99% of the time that this will happen. So for example, you are if you're working, you're gonna say tomorrow I am going to go to work or I am going to work because it's something that you know for sure will happen. But will is, I will go to the beach when we know we can't go to the beach right now. So it's a possibility, I'm sure, maybe yes, maybe no, maybe not right now, maybe in a couple of months, but still you're not sure because of the situation. So it's uncertain. So for if clauses, for this first conditional, we're always gonna use if with will, never with going to, even though will and going to refer to the future, okay? So in this particular case, we're going to use will because it will always indicate possibility, a possible solution to our possible suggestion or scenario. If you save money, you if you save money, you will go out and eat, or you will go on a trip, or you will have more money than before, or you will have money for any type of emergency, etc. Okay, 
So that is going to happen. So we use, we're going to always use will. So never going to. So I just wanted to clarify on that. Okay. She will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay, so going back to if, let's do a little exercise because I love grammar and grammar always goes with exercises. So the more exercises we do, the better we understand it. So I have a little presentation here for you about superstitions, okay? Um, and superstitions with if, okay? So tell me if it's true or not, okay? The first one, who wants to help me? Alejandra, do you want to help me with the first one? Okay, go. Uh, if you will have... No, you will have bad luck if a black cat crosses your path. Mm -hmm. Can you make I it in an if? Mm -hmm. do, what do you think? Uh, okay. If you see a black cat cross, crosses from if, your eyes, if you a black will cat crosses your path, you will have bad luck. Mm -hmm. You will have bad luck. Yeah. What do you think, Ale? Do you think this is true or false? Yeah. No, I think that it's false. 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 Oh, okay. False. Let's find out. Let's find out the case. All the superstitions are false. <laughs> Let's find out true. what they said. This it's is just true. Okay. According to the British, this is a British presentation, while confusingly, black cats can be both lucky and unlucky, depending, in the UK, this is in the UK, depending on who you ask. So then again, if you ask your grandmother or your great-grandmother, maybe they will say they're unlucky. But perhaps our new generations like us, you know, us the millennials, no, we don't think it's, you know, bad luck, right? We're, we don't think cats, bad, uh, black cats are bad luck. It all depends on the perception, right? Um, okay, very good. Let's go with the next one. I like the cat doing that. <laughs> okay, our next one. Who wants to help me read with the next one? Alejandro, want to help me read? No, it's a, it's a false because uh, in, in the broken is an accident. The problem is to <laughs> is to uh, 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 a little problem with the with the window or, or the mirror, but is an accident is only the possibility accident for me. So but, what could happen uh, if you? So give me a give me a, a sentence that will go along with if. So if you break a mirror, what okay. can happen? What possibility? If you break mirror, you will have seven years. Oh, uh, look, it's a false. Look, it's false. But give me another example. Give me a real example. If this is false, give me another example. Come up with another example. Uh huh? If, for example, I'll give you one. If you break a mirror, you can, what can happen? You can cut yourself, for example. Uh huh. Antonio, give me an example. If you get coronavirus, you will be on serious problems, possibly. Okay, but in this, okay, very good. But in this case with mirrors, give me a possible or a real, because we're talking about superstitions, but give me a real event, something that will happen. Here it says if you break a mirror, you will have seven years of, seven years a real of statement. Uh, A real statement, uh huh? If you break a mirror, uh, you will have to buy another one and that can be uh, expensive. <laughs> And very, uh, I don't know, 
not or not so easy hurt. to get to get a new one okay or you can also hurt yourself if, if you break, break. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. if you break a mirror you will cut your finger or something like that you you will cut your fingers you will cut yourself any part of your body because you don't know like this yeah. gift that we have there right so it's actually true according to british why probably you will but only if you are superstitious then again if you tell your grandmother perhaps yes or if you tell somebody who's l h is around that they will still believe in this right this type of scenarios let's go with another one who wants to help me read this one if you put your shoes mm -hmm. Okay, it's possible too. If you put your shoes on the table, it will bring you luck. Um, and you can to broken the the knee or the leg. If you put your shoes on the table, it will bring you luck. But if you put your shoes on the table, you can fall down and break your knee, like you're saying, or break your leg, right? But what do you think? Do you think this okay. is true or this is false? It's true. It's true? Yeah. Wait, sorry. I went back. Let's find out. Mm. That it will bring you luck? According to the British, it's bad luck. So it's false. So you'd better keep your shoes off the furniture, especially if they're new. And not just because they're dirty, it's just that it's not, it, doesn't, it will not bring any luck. So it's a superstition too. But what happens if you put your shoes on the table? If you put your shoes on the table, what can happen? Give me a real statement or a real sentence. Mm -hmm. Give me a real one. If you put your shoes on the table, you will, or it will. Uh -huh, fall down okay they can fall down okay they will fall down very good another one mm -hmm. if you put your shoes on the table they will stink maybe if you have stinky feet we don't know uh-huh could be possibility let's go with the next one what is the meaning about it which one? This one? I know the word that you say stinky. at the end of the... Uh -huh. Stinky feet. Stinky feet is like smelly feet. Ah, okay. okay. So stinky feet are called like smelly feet too. It's another way. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Next one. If you walk under a ladder, you will have bad luck. What do you guys think? Two. True? Yes, true. Especially if the bucket hits you. If you walk under a ladder, you can have an accident or you will have an accident. Right? Give me another real statement or something real that can happen to you if you walk under a ladder. Give me another example. If you if walk you under, walk a under ladder, huh? You I say. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you walk under a ladder, you will beat in your head. Ah, you can hit. Uh -huh. hit your head? Hit your head. You can hit your head. Very good. Uh huh. And Katie, you were gonna say something. If you walk under a ladder, you. If you walk under a ladder, you will have a accident. <laughs> you will have an accident. Okay. Very good. Super. Let's go with our next one. If you find a tree, I'm sorry, that's not a tree. It's a three leaf clover will bring you luck. What do you guys think? A three, not a four, a three 
leaf clover. Uh -huh. True or false? Maybe true. Okay. Hmm. Not three, it needs to be four according to, but then again, this is more like Irish, you know, like St. Patrick's Day on March 17th that they celebrate everywhere, St. Patrick's Day. So it's only a four leaf clover will bring you good luck. That's what they say. If you find a, a leaf that has four leaves, not three, it will bring you good luck. Let's go with the next one. If you spill salt, you will have good luck. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? False. False. It's very. It's true. Actually, it will bring you bad luck. So if you do, you must throw some over your shoulder to counterattack the bad luck. Hmm. What do you guys think? If you spill salt, your food will be more salty, and you're not going to be able to eat it. If it falls on on your food, for example, uh huh. Right? So that's to spill. It's to do this. Okay? That's to spill salt. If you catch falling leaves in fall or autumn, you will have good luck. What do you guys think? Have you ever heard that before? <clears throat> False. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. No, it's actually true. Every leaf means a lucky month next year. Hmm. That's what well, that's what they believe. If they catch, if you catch a leaf falling from a tree, it means good luck for the next year. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's their traditions. So this is a little bit about British traditions. Okay, this is more like British. It's a more like a British presentation. If you step on the line, you will fall and break your spine. It could happen, like the image. True or false? <laughs> is that true? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. I, I remember. I remember twenty years ago. Twenty years ago, in the play in the beach, uh, my co-worker uh, had a, a broken in the leg because in the similar in the similar play. Wow! And it happened. And you know, I I have heard I have heard that when you say I. Um, it's wet, I'm going to fall down. It's like you're attracting that that's going to happen to you. If you say, ya me voy a caer, like in Spanish, I'm going to fall down right now. So if you say it in a positive way, eventually you're attracting it to the outer world and it happens. If you say, I am going to get sick, you get sick. If you say, I am going to, I don't know, have you know, a broken arm, then you break your arm. Like It's like, it's like if you were attracting that, to your life. Superstitions, maybe yes, no, it could be you're attracting it. Let's go with our next one. I think there's another one. You will always be lucky if you hang a horseshoe over your door. What do you guys think? My mom had one. When I was small, my mom used to have one. It was all color red with red ribbon. She said it was good luck. I guess that's a superstition. What do you guys think? Do you think it's true or false? The horseshoe. Hmm? I think it's true. Okay, let's find out. Hmm. It's actually false. The horseshoe needs to be hung in an upward position in the form of a U to bring you good luck. So this is the, right, the correct position. So you need to hang it this way on the door for you to have good luck. That's why some doors, have you noticed, they have this on their door when, and you pick it up, especially in the farms. When you go to like places like Suchitoto or Ataco, the houses have this shape because this is supposed to believe or was believed back in the days that it was good luck at the door. 
could be possible, maybe. Next one, what do you think about this one? If you make a wish, then blow out all the candles in your birthday cake in one blow and your wish will be granted. So if you wish, if you blow all the candles, then all your dreams will come true. Maybe true or maybe false. What do you guys think? <clears throat> false. False. Okay. Let's find out. It's actually true according to them. Good luck with that one. Once you're 90, there are 90 candles on your cake. So imagine 90 candles on the cake. Very difficult to blow them all at once. Maybe five or six, possible. But the more years you have, the more difficult it, it makes it for you to be able to blow all the candles away, right? So going back and making a recap on the conditionals type one, which is this one, right? We have that first, it's something real or a probability or a situational. And then we have that sometimes it could be unreal or improbable, like the one we were looking at, which we were doing examples with uh, superstitions. For example, if he has time, he will visit Robert. It's possible that that can happen. But the exercises that we were doing previously, since there were superstitions, it was just to for you to realize the structure of how do you place if with the first conditional using will to the future, okay? So this was just a little example, guys. I hope you like this presentation and give me a minute because I have another exercise <clears throat> for you guys here. And my second exercise before we do the knowledge check is this one. So we're gonna be doing conditionals too. So you're gonna look at a picture, an image, and then you're gonna tell me what happens, okay? What will happen according to the, you're gonna choose the right sentence for each image, okay? Can you look at my screen? Yes. Okay, super. I want everybody participating, okay? Help me out. So for the first one, look at the image. Okay, so we have a boot on a tree. If you lose your balance, what could happen? A, you will fall into water, or B, you will fall in the ground. What do you guys think? Fall into water or fall to the ground? will fall on the ground. Perception, yes. If you lose your balance, you will fall on the ground. Very good. What about our next one? If the boy doesn't find his favorite toy, what do you think he will do? He will get really furious or he will start crying? DB will start crying. He will start crying? Okay, let's find out. Very good. If the boy doesn't find his favorite toy, he will start crying. Very good. Let's go with our next one. If I get hungry, I will eat some blueberries or I will eat some ice cream. Hmm. Letter A. I like the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I would pick ice cream too. Me too. Oh, and <laughs> chocolate ice cream, Boston. <gasps> what? Blueberries. If I get hungry, I will eat some blueberries. Chocolate ice cream. Who votes for chocolate ice cream? From yes, delicious. Right. <laughs> Our next one. If he has got if he has got time in the evening, he will. What do you think? He will watch the sunset, or he will go to the disco, to a club or the discotheque. Mm -hmm. Disco. <laughs> he will go to the disco. Letter B. He will go to the Okay. 
you want to go to the discotheque. <laughs> I know that face. <laughs> if he has time in the evening, he will watch the sunset, not go to the disco. Hmm. Let's find out about this one. If you look up, you will see a bear sleeping in a tree or you will see a fox sleeping in a tree. What do you guys think? A bear or a fox? A bear. A bear? Let's find out. <laughs> Yeah. By the way, now that you look, if you if you notice, bears can climb trees. So if you ever see a bear in the middle of a forest or anywhere, don't try to climb up a tree, okay? Run, because a bear will be able to climb up a tree. Now we know that they can climb trees. If you look up, you will see a bear sleeping in a tree. If it doesn't rain, she will go on a picnic or she will take her dog for a walk. Um, she will take her dog for a walk. Okay. <laughs> that is possible. possible. Both, right? Because her hat will... looks like she will go on a picnic. Or yeah. Maybe. Let's find out. I thought that. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. If it doesn't rain, she will go on a picnic. Interesting. Okay. You will feel sick if you eat so much pizza or you eat so much chicken. Oh, that's a tricky one. Pizza or chicken? Maybe, pizza, maybe chicken. Mm -hmm. You will feel sick if you eat chicken. So much chicken, okay? Kentucky chicken. Not Hawaiian chicken. Fried chicken. <laughs> you will feel sick if you eat so much chicken. Very good. Our next one. A pug. If it's really cold, the dog will put on a jacket or the dog will cover in itself up in a blanket. Let her be. The we dog will cover? Uh -huh. <laughs> Looks like E.T. If it's really cold, the dog will cover itself in a blanket. Very good. Mm -hmm. I won't be late if I take a taxi or I catch a bus. I take a taxi, letter A. I a taxi, maybe, uh huh. Let's find out. I take a taxi. Hmm. I won't be late if I take a taxi or if I take an Uber too. Mm -hmm. He will be delighted if someone buys his car or someone buys his house. Someone buys his house. Okay, let's find out. He will be delighted if somebody buys his car. Do you know, do you know the word for a car that is oxidado? Do you know how to call a car that is oxidado? Do you know the word? Yes, rusty. Very good. It's rusty. Uh -huh. So this is a rusty car. He 
will get really tired if he chops a lot of wood or he digs a huge hole. What do you guys think? A or B? Letter B. Letter B? Okay. Let's find out. It shows. If he digs a huge hole. He will get really tired if he digs a huge hole. Our next one. If you go, if I go to London, I will visit the Tower Bridge or I will visit the Big Ben. Uh, the Big Ben. Letter B. Letter B. The Big Ben. Yes. Let's find out. But actually, the image, I think it is uh, the Tower Bridge, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. If I go to London, I will visit the Tower Bridge. Yes, because a big man is just one tower. Mm -hmm. With a big clock. She won't get wet if she takes an umbrella or if she puts on a raincoat. What do you guys think? Letter. Umbrella. Mm -hmm. umbrella or raincoat? She takes an umbrella. Mm -hmm. For a missile? I think a raincoat. <laughs> I think. Either or? Umbrella. What's the difference? Either or you're going to get wet, but the raincoat will cover eventually, you know, it's like a big cape to cover you from the rain, but then umbrella just covers like this part, upper part. <laughs> Our next one. He will wear a special suit if he becomes an astronaut or he becomes a firefighter. For both of you need a special suit. Which one? Firefighter. A firefighter. Let's find out. He will wear a special suit if he becomes a firefighter. If he has a day off, he will spend the whole day lying in the grass or he will spend the whole day watching TV? <laughs> Letter B. He will spend the whole day. I nice. enjoy nature. Whole day lying in grass. If he has a day off, he will spend the whole day lying in the grass or lying in grass. Mm -hmm. Let's go out. If the weather doesn't change, there will be a flood or there will be a lot of snow tomorrow. What do you guys think? Here maybe a flood, but somewhere else maybe a lot of snow. Let's find out. Look at that. If the weather doesn't change, there will be a lot of snow tomorrow. Another <clears throat> if she goes scuba diving, she will see a shark or she will see a turtle. Uh, will she a shark? A shark? A shark is <laughs> uh -huh, a shark. Turtle. If she goes scuba diving, she will see a turtle. Hmm. Let's go with the next one. 
If he jumps really high, he will grab a rope or he will catch a ball. He will catch a ball. He will catch a ball? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, very good. If he jumps really high, he will catch a ball. If I go to a restaurant, I will order something spicy or I will order something sweet. My case, sweet. What about you guys? I will order something spicy. 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 It's possible, it's spicy. Yeah, it's spicy. <laughs> if I go to a restaurant, I will order something sweet. The sweet is very expensive. <laughs> spicy too, spicy too. No, not too much. <laughs> If she isn't careful, she will slide down a steep mountain or she will fall down the stairs. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. A or B? Falls down the stairs. Fall down the stairs? Stairs? Let's find out. Ooh. If she isn't careful, she will slide down a steep mountain. Okay. We're not going to revise because I want to jump into the next exercise, okay? So this was a little exercise with the first conditional. Then again, if, if it's not that difficult. Second and third are a little bit more complex than the first one, okay? So what I want you to do right now is the following. I'm going to pair you guys up, and I want you to do the exercise, the knowledge check, which is, <clears throat> let me see, 4 point, <clears throat> sorry, 4.11 if I'm not mistaken, yeah. 4.11, so I'm gonna pair you guys up so you can work together and then we can go over the answers, okay? <clears throat> so, it's gonna make me first. Work on the exercise, please, guys. Okay. Okay. Now let's check. I guess my internet is, is not fast there right now, but I will try. Okay. 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 Let's get let's get it started. You want? Uh, the first one is if you eat less junk food. The first one, you may lose weight. You may lose weight. I, yeah, I the, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, it's okay. Let's let's continue. Point two: If you if you walk to work every day, you have more money to spend on yourself. You have more to spend. Okay. Okay. You're right. 
preguntas. ¿Cuál es el 5.7? O oh, listen, yeah. exercise, job hunting. Let me see. Uh, hi, teacher. You switched. I listened to you. <laughs> Uh, you guys speaking just to double German. check teacher it is the yes. listening exercise 4.8 right um let me double check right now with you guys hold on it's 4 point no it's 4.11 4 which is 11. after condi it's conditional sentences with if clauses it's the knowledge check after the video for conditional yeah, yeah, sentences yeah. ah yeah, 4.11 right. okay okay uh you 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 ready, uh, Katie? Are you ready? Uh, okay, Relacion... if you want, I can share the screen, if you want. Okay, so I'm check. Just let me know. It's open. I'll come back with you guys. I'm going to check on the rest, okay? Okay, teacher. The last one. You won't be able to stay away in class. Ah, uh, okay. And if you exercise... <laughs> you exercise yeah it's the we choose the one three the 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 last only have to a uh, second and the and the four you may feel healthy you you may be healthy if you okay. don't get married it's the the only one you will have more money to expend on yourself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Section five. Uh, okay. I think uh, the next week. Maybe maybe the next the next week um, I will watch in uh, um, right now I watch in the section the section five um, this is a uh, one section mass uh, and we have to start the uh, final exam yeah we have only four weeks so next week is our last week and then you should be completing the platform by Thursday or well next week Friday I guess the most right. Oh, mm -hmm. thank, you. Mm -hmm. thank you. So we okay. still have one more week to go. So that way you guys can, you know, work on the platform. Mm -hmm. okay. So fast. Mm -hmm. I know, 16 sessions, imagine. This is our third week now. And we're almost finished. And then we have the other week. Then we go on like a one week vacation for Sand and we start the next intermediate. Okay, that's amazing. I'm so nervous because we have a final exam. <laughs> Don't <laughs> it's your first time in this, this course. Sorry? Please? I can it's your hear first you. Time in this, this course. Ah, yeah, yeah. This is my first time. I, I am lost in, in, in many in many things in, in this in this level but, but I try to to to, to take with it easy. But I like it. I like it. And and you this is the first time or or not? No this this the third the third this is your my, first your no, first time really
Okay, guys, let's go over the answers together. Okay. And let's see. If you eat less junk food, you may lose weight. True or not? True. <laughs> okay, so no MACDs, no KFC, no Laka Laka, no Buffalo Wings, right? We have to keep it healthy. Why? <laughs> no Taco Bell. No Pollo Campero. No Pollo Campero, no Pizza Hut. No Pizza Hut. We have to eat healthy, healthy to stay healthy. No Mexican okay. food, no, no Mexican. pasta. Don't no, no. say that. No desserts. If you walk to work every day. Doesn't sound so great after all. <laughs> <laughs> no. You will stay in shape without joining a gym. What do you guys think? Hmm. Could be. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. We have to be active, walk, and exercise, even in our neighborhood, at least. Not to say. Not up. enough. It's not enough. Only yeah. walk. Yeah, some people jog, right? Or some people exercise, but we have to keep ourselves active. At least try to do it for, you don't have to be working out for two or three hours. At least if you do it for 40 minutes or 30 minutes a day, that's fine. Mm -hmm. if you yeah. Try to healthy. If you don't get enough sleep, you won't be able to stay awake in class. Or if you don't get enough sleep, you don't want to wake up the next day to go to work. If you exercise, you might feel healthier. Is that correct? And the last one, if you don't get married, you will have more money to spend on yourself. Ooh. Completely true. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, so do you have all these answers? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, super, super. Well, this was, um, we were able to cover the exercises super fast, but I have a last one and I want you to give me, all oh, think of a number. Give me a number. And I have a couple of questions, uh-huh. Give me a number. Between, between what number and what number? Between one and 48. And 48. Um... I'm gonna move my screen so you don't see the questions being asked. One and 48. 25. Okay, let's see. 25, 25, 25. Da, 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 da. Okay, if you were lost, if you were lost, what would you do if you were lost? In a country, in an ex country that you don't know, for example, in your in a city, what would you do if you were lost? Hello? If you lost, you will... If you were lost, if you were lost, what would you do if you were lost in a city? In my case, I will use Google Maps. <laughs> I will use Google Maps, okay. Mm -hmm. I will ask around people like, hey, how do I get to... How do I, I, will, get I will apply all the survival skills I learned <laughs> uh, back, back in my days as a Boy Scout. So. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. You will find two uh, policemen. I will, to... I will look for a police officer. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah. I will look for a police officer. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, anybody else? Give me a number from 1 to 48, except the one someone just gave me. Another number? Mm -hmm. 15. 15. 15. Let's see. Ooh. What would you do if a meteor was about to hit the earth? What would you do? If you just found out that a meteor, meteorito, was about to hit the earth. We will do. To cry. <laughs> <laughs> I would cry. Okay, I would cry. Yeah. I would yeah. cry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Screaming. 
I think I would go with my family and try to spend those last couple and hug them and just those last couple of minutes with them together with my kids and everything. That's what I would do. Uh -huh. you, oh, oh, like, I will to I will get to a a, a space uh a space what is, uh, a space <laughs> to <laughs> a space get the, to get out to the space. <laughs> to leave the to leave the planet. The, okay. To leave the, the planet. <laughs> okay, super. Well guys, thank you very much. It was a fun class with if the first conditional we saw for the week, okay? Um, by the way, tomorrow is our last day for this third week. We still have one more week. So you still have time to work on the platform. Work on the platform, okay? Do not hesitate if we go over the topics in class and you're already ahead of us. It's okay. You can go to your own rhythm. You don't have to go to my rhythm. But if you're already finished, fantastic. If you already finished the platform, that's great. The idea with this is for you to practice, okay? So I will see you tomorrow, though, same time, okay, guys? Okay, okay. see you Bye. tomorrow. Thank you for joining us always. Bye, guys. Good see night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.